Changes are constantly occurring with electric companies, whether it's about a smart grid or how you can get the latest information. Kevin Burnson for Shelby Electric Cooperative is here with some more insight. Welcome back. Hi, thanks for having me. All right, so this smart grid, what are we talking about? Well, it's, it's, it's a lot of technical stuff, but kind of in a layman's term, it basically, you know how uh, telephones, you had cell phones and you'd make basically just calls with it. Well, with technology and computerizing of cell phones, you became and got smartphones. So electricity is kind of the same way. You've got the electrical grid. It's basically the wires, the substation, all the equipment that gets the power from the generation facility to your home. Through the computerization of, of technology of electrical stuff, um, you're able to now have what they call smart grid. It basically just it allows uh, the technology for uh, for our utility, the Shelby Electric Cooperative in general, our engineers and our operations people can look at the member's uh, meter, they can uh, define problems in the system. If there's an outage, they can maybe pinpoint where the outage, where to start looking for the outage. Um, there's a lot of data that we can get back that's useful on the operation side of the cooperative. Well, because of technology and smart grid and these type of components, we're able to also allow the member to have a little bit of power, um, no pun intended, but a little bit of power <laughs> um, in their hands when it comes to their thing. So we, uh, through one of our uh, partners, have come up with an app called Smart Hub. Right, so and you're really keeping members up to date as right. the technology advances. Correct. So yeah, let's talk about this app. How does it work? Our, our Smart Hub app is obviously can you be utilized via phones or tablets. Okay. And you can get them at your favorite app store right um it kind of morphed from our online bill pay so basically members can go on our website and, and log in and pay their bill well it's morphed into this app as well where not only does it tell you when your bill's available for uh whether you're not in the internet side or the electric side um we can also send messages to them um or about our new pay by phone system oh yeah the, the alerts map. down right. there on the bottom left can, you can kind of see it scrolling there right we on can the screen. we can we can push out information to them they can also uh what's what's important to members especially when they get their bill sometimes or some months is high sometimes why is my bill so high well right. when they call us we've got this tool to use but they can also go to like my usage and they can kind of track to see how their use has been um on a daily basis and as you see the different color variances up there um, for, for me, if I'm looking at this, mm, Saturday was pretty high use, and I can think back on Saturday, well, what, what, what was involved? Oh, my, maybe all my, my kids had all their friends over and they were gaming, or um, you had a flooded basement and you've got fans on to dry your, your uh, basement out, so you're going to see a, a peak. And you can kind of get an idea when your use peaked, and you can think about, well, how did, what was I doing that day? Um, so the red is kind of like a red flag. <laughs> let let I, you know that you that that compare like green you see around a lot of the twenties. That's probably kind of a more of a normal use. So when it got up in the thirties and forties, it's letting me know that hey, you know you had had a high use. Um, Maybe it was colder that day or something else. Right. Okay. You can check your current billing period. You can check uh, last week's use. So there's various ways you can uh, take a look at your bill and you can compare the average temperature. Um, you can see what the uh, uh, during that particular time span, Saturday was a peak. The minimum was uh, 25, but for that, that week, 225 um, kilowatt hours were used. So it's kind of a neat tool. Yeah. The, the other thing is, you know, members uh, have a way to communicate to us. They can contact us. They can ask about, an or they can let us know about an address change. They can give us a phone call, and it'll it'll pop up. Do you want to call now or, or don't call? <laughs> <laughs> let's give them a call. See what they're doing this afternoon. You can shoot it. You can shoot us an email. Um, and, and send us a message that way. It's just another way to, uh, to communicate with the cooperative. And, and you can visit, visit our website. And through the s smart grid and these technologies, once again, you can, you can go to the online bill pay and it'll take you to the same thing. It'll take you to the smart up so you can get there online as well if you don't have a, a smartphone or a tablet. Right. Something else I'm noticing is that cooperative outage map, which would come in really handy. Maybe your power goes out and you're not sure, sure if somebody else's is just a fluke at your house or it's a whole neighbor -wide, neighborhood wide exactly. thing. And that's a great tool right there for you. Yeah, you can, click, you can go to the website and you click on the outage map and it basically pulls up um, our system and you can look at it in, in different ways. You can look at it that you can close that up by just touching on it and that goes away. Um, you can pull up customer summary and it basically lets you look via township, zip code or county to however you want to look. If there were some outages right now you'd see that showing up on the right hand side in the white box. We'll, we'll close out of that so um, we can take a look at the map itself 
right now we're looking at, uh, I'm believing counties, and you can you can tap on it. And when you tap on it, it'll let you know um, if there was anybody out, how many consumers are served in that particular area. And obviously you can see the legend, it kind of shows you about how many people are. This is kind of nice, not only just for the um, member of the co-op to see, oh, we're still without power, say I'm at work and I want right. to know has the power been restored, I can go here. But the, the, the media always likes to know and keep up to date and keep their viewers up to date um, on on outage situations on a major storm so they can also go access this and, and have an idea of how many yeah. people are still out. So that's really handy. Now you talk about members, you're member owned. What are the benefits of being member owned? Well, uh, Shelby Electric Cooperative and uh, one of our partners with WCI Advertising is Eastern Line Electric Cooperative. Um, there's around 26 electric distribution co-ops in Illinois um, and there's about 900 co-op around the country. We're basically owned by our members. If you get electricity from us, then you're a member of the cooperative. Um, it started back in the 1938s and, uh, is when cooperatives first started to form and basically farmers wanted power just like their, their city brethren had, um, but nobody would bring the power out to them. So they asked the government if they could uh, put the wires and poles up themselves and, and so they formed an electric co-op. There you go. Uh, and that's kind of where, if, if you're a member of a co-op, you're basically part owner of a co-op. And you're also very involved in the community. Yeah, one of the core principles of, of a cooperative and Touched on Energy, our brand, is commitment to community. So we do various fundraising things throughout the different communities that we serve. We'll get involved with the schools. We'll get involved with uh, raising funds for different organizations. We'll uh, help out, uh, maybe put a, a lights up in a ball field, may, may help put up a, a siren, uh, emergency siren in a, in a town that needs the pole or needs help with the, a bucket truck. Um, we also uh, collect, f uh, our co-op, we collect uh, canned goods, non-perishable canned goods, and we give them to local food charities. So there's, there's a lot of things where we live in those communities, so we also want to con give back to the communities that we serve. Yeah, and you're staying up to date with technology, which is <laughs> great. It's Kevin Burnson for Shelby Electric Cooperative. We appreciate you coming Thanks in. Thanks for having me. If you want to get connected with them, we'll connect you via CILiving.tv.